make this water cooling plate, I uh, took a piece of 6061 uh, aluminum that's about two inches by about an eighth of an inch. Uh, I bought it at a local metal shop. Uh, they sell it in multiple length sections. They sell it by the weight. And um, I cut it up on the bandsaw into these pieces here. And what I'm going to do is use these fittings and I'm going to glue this together with a um, E6000 glue. And um, after I glue it together, I will tap a hole on each end for the fittings to go on and screw them in. So it'll be like this, and the water will flow through the plate to remove the heat. So it's a pretty simple design. Uh, let's see how effective it is. So I've moved outside to uh, work on this uh, with the E6000, but what I've done is I've taken this 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol and some paper towels and cleaned all of the oils off of the aluminum. And I also filed any um, rough edges that would uh, make the aluminum stick up when you glue it down. So uh, the next step will be to actually glue it together. So here we go. So now I've applied beads of E6000 along the aluminum strips, and the next thing I'm going to do is smash them down onto the uh, aluminum to get a good uh, fit and seal. And then uh, we'll add a, a, um, another bead to the inside of the aluminum strips to uh, make sure the water seal is very tight. So I applied the uh, E6000 and smashed these uh, aluminum strips down. And what I've noticed is that the uh, when you smash them down, the E6000 actually squeezes out quite nicely around the edges. So it looks like it'll have a nice seal. And then on these end pieces, it actually, um, when I pushed them together, there was enough between them. So I think that'll have a good seal too. So the next step will be to take this top cover that's going to go on here and go drill the holes in and tap for a 1 8 uh, fitting and uh, that'll be the next step. So I moved down to the uh, shop and uh, to tap for a uh, 1 8 NPT fitting you need the proper tap. This is a 1 8 NPT uh, 27 thread per inch tap. Um, you have to use an 11 30 seconds drill bit, which I have chucked up in the drill here. And what I'm going to do next is drill these two holes for the two, the two uh, fittings, and then I will tap them. That's the next step. So I've drilled the holes. I've chucked up the tap. Here's my trusty uh, cutting oil. I used WD-40 for everything. Um, so the next step is just to tap these uh, holes and uh, then we'll go upstairs back to the outside and clean it up with some uh, alcohol and then uh, get all the oils off of this aluminum and then we'll glue it all together and uh, let it set up in the uh, sun to cure it and then uh, start running water through it. So, here we go. So here we are, we're back up at the table outside, and uh, I've tapped and put the um, fittings in, into this piece of aluminum. That way uh, I don't glue it on in the wrong direction, because MPT is a tapered fitting. So if I would have glued it on the wrong direction, then the taper would be the wrong direction, and I wouldn't be able to get those fittings in there. So just to make it easy, put the fittings on before I glue the top piece on. And here we go. So to make sure that uh, we have a good seal, I ran a good bead of E6000 all the way around and inside of the tops of these seams and into the edges of them. So you'll see it there and there. And that E6000 is some pretty good stuff. You let it cure properly. So our next step, I'm going to just put this uh, top back on. 
make sure it's got a nice uh, seal around the edges and then let it cure. This is the completed water plate. Uh, E6000 takes about 48 hours to get a good, good proper cure on it uh, to get the maximum strength out of it. Um, the next step will be just to test to see if there's leaks with water running through it. And then in my next video I will actually apply the thermoelectric coolers to the back of this and see uh, how effective this is as a uh, water cooling plate. Thanks for watching.